Now the essential part of any arcade cabinet is of course the cabinet itself. Now I would have built one because you see I got plenty of wood down here but since the only woodworking I do is with my dick um, which means I have no skills at all when it comes to woodworking um, I decided to opt to get a cabinet. Of course this was on sale when I bought it it came out to 249 with shipping. It shipped UPS ground. As you can see, it's huge. Now, usually it's from Rec Room Masters, and usually it would be three boxes if it's a full size cabinet, but since the bar top, it's only one box. See, they did a good job reinforcing it until they used the reinforce tape for this shit. Well, I'm not going to go into all the pieces because. As I'm shooting this, I've got limited time on my hands. I just want to double check it real quick to make sure everything is in here. Now, a minute, Willie. after many trials and tribulations and a lot of frustration, I present to you the finished cabinet itself. Now, the computer isn't in there. Um, however, everything else is. So I'm just waiting on the computer to come in there. I'll be able to put it in there. But, this is the end result. Um, now, why I say frustration a little bit, because the instructions were a little bit uh, screwy. Um, basically, I'd all, I was trying so hard to put it in the right-hand side, and come to find out, you're supposed to put the monitor in last when the instructions say you shouldn't. But, um, whatever. And the, of course, it bolts in with one bolt in step two, and, there's a couple things wrong with the instructions, but other than that, we got it finished. Now, it does hold the joystick in very well. I mean, it's, even though it's not, you know, in, like, flush, it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Because um, it's wood, you know, and even though, and even contrary to his popular belief, you know, the guy that, you know, made, you know, Rep Room Masters, well, Wayne, um, that... Um, well, to see, see, so it's perfect. No, it's wood, okay? Wood is never perfect. Um, there's always going to be flaws. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, this is the cabinet itself. You see the monitors in. And it's actually looking pretty good. I mean, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would, you know, be like, <clears throat> like right here, you know, maybe. But instead, it's... So, yeah, I definitely got to find a good place to put this, you know. I mean, shit, if I thought it was going to be this big, I would have gotten a full-size cabinet. Uh, now, what's... Hopefully, I'd be able to move it when I need to. That's me. Hi! Anyway, as you can see, it's pretty sturdy. It really is. Now, one word of advice to anybody that buys this cabinet. Um, there's these locks such a one right there now you have to put them in hold down if you don't you, know, you gotta make sure this um, flathead screw part is up and facing out because I made the mistake twice of putting it in the wrong way and but luckily I was able to get it out with a flathead so all is good um, see how the wires running this is how you're supposed to do it you're supposed to have the wires running from there out the back here so you can plug it in now let me show you, monitor goes here, um, you have a keyboard which most likely I'm going to have, goes up from the bottom, and comes up, comes up from the bottom, and it comes up through here, um, just so you can select your game, blah, 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 um, this is where the speakers are going to go, and you can see the inside's hollow, and of course you need, a really need a small computer or a laptop, and the Xeno hopefully will fit back here and uh, I don't know if these is how, how tall the speakers are so um, but these are the port these are the speaker outs um, as you can see the back of the machine is open so you don't have to worry about your computer overheating at all don't know what these are for but uh, like I said the cabinet's sturdy both parts are bolted into place with this one 
bolt up here and the pegs. And the pegs are tight, so they're, like I said, even one bolt in, when I shake the top, the whole cabinet shakes. This fucking thing isn't going anywhere. Like, I can't repeat that enough because sturdiness is a key component in this. You're going to be playing, you know, those really tough games of X-Men versus Street Fighter or whatever. You're going to be shaking the fucking cabinet. You're going to want to make sure it stays there. Um, and, of course, the wires are right here. Now, to go inside the machine, and I'll show you this in the finished product. I bought this from Home Depot. It's, right. well, right now, currently, it's... Two for eight dollars, eight ninety nine, I believe. And this is an eight footer. Now, since this is a wood cabinet and the marquee doesn't light up at all, um, we're just going to need one for the monitor, one for the um, computer. And of course, there's two here, one there. You can also have an additional one. Say if you haven't um, decided to put in a speaker system with an external power instead of a USB. But what's cool about it is. This could basically act as your power supply and you don't have to bolt it down. You see? And it's an eight footer, so you got plenty of room so you can hook it up there and run your and condense it to a single plug. Excellent. Now now that you've seen the cabinet, um, now it's time the now it's time for the computer.